Hi, I'm Dr. Kyle Hancock, a licensed psychologist, and today I'm here with Yada Yada. I'd like to talk today a little bit about a mindset change that can often make a difference when we are going through an uncomfortable life circumstance or event. This borrows from the research of Marsha Linehan, a rather famous researcher in my science. When we are faced with something that we don't want, oftentimes many of us have a desire to reject it, to change it, to act as if the experience we are having is actually not our own. For example, when we lose employment, when a family member does something that leaves us feeling hurt, when we feel depressed or anxious, a common initial reaction is to say, that didn't happen to me. I don't want this to be my experience. Why does this keep happening? And in one way or another, we question the existence of a problem or we pretend that the problem is not there. Unfortunately, when we try to reject the reality of our experience, it does not actually change that reality. As an example, if I happen to break my leg, and I don't like having broken my leg, I don't want to have crutches, I don't want to be in a cast, denying the existence of my broken leg does not, in fact, change or heal it magically. So instead of rejecting the reality that we experience, we often find greater benefit in acknowledging its presence and frankly acknowledging our honest reaction to it. In the example of a broken leg, it is very disappointing. It is very frustrating and it causes a lot of inconveniences. And when I am willing to acknowledge frankly and honestly that my leg is broken, I can then seek appropriate medical care and embrace the healing process. Although it is an inconvenience, it is also time limited. And as I welcome or allow or acknowledge or accept the reality that I experience, the more empowered I am in making choices to improve my experience given my reality. While a broken leg may sound simple, sometimes our life is filled with much more difficult events. A loved one who is struggling with substance use or addiction, for example. Someone that we love who has left our lives, whether through passing or by choice. These kinds of life events certainly bring with it a much greater magnitude of pain. And I would advocate that this same principle still applies. When we refuse to acknowledge an event that is painful, unfortunately, what we often do is create more pain. Where, on the other hand, when we are willing to do the best we can, especially with events or circumstances that are out of our control, we feel more empowered, more encouraged, and we find that our behavior becomes more effective. Similarly to the example with the broken leg, when I choose to honestly acknowledge that someone I love is making a choice that is outside of my influence, it enables me to demonstrate my love for that person in a more effective way. Rather than refusing to acknowledge the problem behavior, I can work on finding potential solutions or encouragements or hope for my loved one. In one way or another, we all face life circumstances we would rather not experience. Unfortunately, that's simply a matter of being human. Beneficially, however, how we react to our life events is far more important than the life event we experience. Our reaction is within our influence. And as we choose wisely and effectively to accept the experience we have, 
we enable ourselves to then come up with opportunities, options, or resources to improve our reaction or feeling or experience to the best of our ability. While this is certainly not a simple, magical button, it is a far more effective option than perpetuating problems. It is a far more effective option than pretending a problem doesn't exist. Because unfortunately, though that may initially feel more comfortable, it will prolong the problem, potentially indefinitely. So when faced with a painful life event, earnestly increase acceptance of its presence. Earnestly and diligently work toward coping with that problem rather than trying to avoid it, ignore it, or pretend it doesn't exist. And I promise, as you increase awareness and acceptance, you will find increased confidence and increased peace with time and effort.